hearts, give you back your homes, or restore your dead to life. But perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. <laughs> Hey everyone, today I want to bring up a topic that we haven't discussed for quite some time, the five forts. If you are unfamiliar with the five forts, no worries because they are never really even mentioned in the show. In Essos, there is a guarded barrier that serves as the northeastern boundary of the Golden Empire of Yeti. The five forts are described as being made of greasy black stone towering at 1000 feet high, that is 300 feet taller than the wall in Westeros and the forts are grouped along with other strange ancient landmarks scattered over the world made from similar black rock. If you follow the tales from ages ago during the same time the Long Night fell on Westeros, Essos suffered it as well. Priests and Yeti describe their land's history during that time. They say their god, the Lion of Night, conceived a child with the Maiden of Light and then it became known as the God on Earth. It is said that the sun, god on earth, ruled the great empire of the dawn for 10,000 years. Not actually 10,000 years, but his successors would gain power after his death and then rule for a total of 10,000 years. Now does any of this sound familiar to you? It seems like the past surrounding the five forts and Yeti sound weirdly similar to the wall during the long night in Westeros. Plus, if you believe the five forts were once used to defend against an undead army, let me add this as some possible evidence. If you look at the lands beyond where the forts cut off the Yeti territory, you start to see locations with very descriptive names. Bone Town, Cannibal Sands, and of course, the Grey Waste. What's really interesting is the areas are named after major events in their land's history. The Land of the Shrikes was named after it was known that shrieking monsters were in this area, said to have green scaly skin, similar to what we might see of those with grayscale. And then the Cannibal Sands are known to be the home of a part human species that eats the flesh of others. And let's not forget the Grey Waste, which houses those affected by grayscale and are turning mad slowly. It sounds like Essos has been dealing with the same issues Westeros has been. Not ice zombies, but undead magical beings that take down anything in their way. It seems like regardless of which gods you believe exist in the ice and fire universe, you could say the same evil power that fuels the White Walkers could be fueling the dead beyond the five forts. That could explain some of the dark magic coming from warlocks as well as sorcerers from Ashai. It would make sense if it all ends up being connected, but regardless, you must admit there is something peculiar about the five forts. Why have they been standing for so long with no problems? Is there magic in the stone that keeps the dead out like the wall in Westeros? And is the strange black stone similar to Dragonglass, because that may make the five forts the most impenetrable fortress of them all? Let me know your thoughts, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, take care, and I will see you soon.